welcome to my home and today is another cheat meal Monday and today's meal is really cheap because we're going to use the power of the Sun to make our meal so what we are going to make is salsa chicken what we're going to do is put chicken breasts in one of these roasters with some salsa and some cheese and we're going to cook it until we can shred it a couple weeks ago a subscriber of mine who has been a subscriber to me ever since the very beginning of Homestead Tessie almost two years and December I will be on YouTube for two years she surprised me with a gift it is the all-american sun oven she said Tessie I know you'll put good use to this and you'll do lots and lots of videos on it and I'm going to share with you today a video of what I can cook in it. The All American Sun Oven is not a very cheap item but it can pay itself off in the years of use. You can use it for many years and you can cook almost anything in it. I'm also going to share with you a Sun Oven that I got that is a lot cheaper and while it does work very well I use it for drying my herbs so I don't need to have electricity to dry my herbs and to dry my vegetables. It is a lot cheaper than one of them solar dehydrators and it works really well. These two items help me every day to help conserve my energy and also saves me lots of money. So what is the salsa chicken? Well it's really simple. We're going to take one of the pans that came with the sun oven and we are going to put chicken breast in it. Now I know the percentage of people that have a sun um, are very small so I wanted to share with you you can use this recipe in a crock pot you can also bake this so no matter what form of cooking you have you can use this method so I'm taking three chicken breasts And I'm also going to take a little bit of salsa that I had left over that a friend gave me that she didn't like it, so she gave it to me. I added a little bit of water to it. And then we're going to take the rest of our cheese Whiz. Notice some of you saw I didn't wash my hands. All of these containers are going to be used to their empty but always wash your hands whenever you touch something of meat, poultry, any kind of meat, always wash your hands. But I'm going to be washing these containers and reusing them. So there we go. Is our chicken. All it is is chicken, salsa, and some cheese Whiz. We're going to put it together. Put the lid on it. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to go put it in our sun oven. So here's the sun oven. We open the door and we sit it right inside. I like this container because it has a glass lid. So you can see how it's cooking. And that's all we are going to do. Now all we have to do is wait a couple hours until it's finished. It's early morning and the sun isn't on it yet but when the sun gets on it it gets really hot in fact it's so hot you have to have gloves to take the pan out it's just like a regular oven so now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna harvest some herbs and we're gonna use the other sun oven to dehydrate them what we're gonna dehydrate today is called lovage and lovage is the flavor of celery so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna harvest the leaves of our lovage my beautiful coxcomb. Now this is only just for decorations. I love the coxcomb for potpourris. Beautiful. Now I grow this every year and it comes up as volunteer plants and so I just wrote it till where I don't want the plant and I leave it the plants grow where I want them to. So this is a really neat plant to to grow. Very easy once you have it established it reseeds itself. In fact, it reseeds itself everywhere. So I love coxcomb. Now we have our lovage. Let's go up and let's dehydrate it. We 
have this sun oven, which is really great for herbs. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to put our lovage in here. Now it won't take long for this to dry. I just pile it up like this. In no time at all, it will be crispy and ready to blend up in my spices. Now, as you see, this is a lot cheaper sun oven because it doesn't have all the bells and whistles. This just stands somewhat inside it, but it works really well. So there, that's how I dry my herbs. And I've been using this now for about a month, and I really like it. All right, as you can see, it's really hard to tell, but it's at 325 degrees. So my chicken will soon be finished. There's a little condensation, so it's hard to see it. But it's all done by the power of the sun, free cooking. All right, the chicken is finished. Now we're going to take it out. We're going to drain it and we're going to break it up with a fork and add some black beans. What I did is I just drained some of the juice off of it. We broke it up using a fork and shredded it up and I used one pint of my home canned black beans. We're going to go ahead and put it back in the sun oven for about a half an hour and then it will be finished and ready to eat. All right, so I want to show you the first batch of herbs are done and it is celery. So I did the celery, which is lovage, but it tastes just like celery. And now we are gonna open up our second batch of herbs. So this here is the lemon verbena, and I can feel the heat coming out of here. So this is perfect for dehydrating. Hear that? So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna crunch up these, and I'm gonna put these in a little bottle like this. All right, everybody, this is what it looks like. Amazing. So we're gonna put a tortilla. We're gonna to put some tomatoes in it. A little bit of sour cream. Yum, yum, we're gonna roll it up. It's gonna be a quick lunch made by the power of the sun. Take care, everybody, and we'll see you